Well, forget about jobs going overseas looking for better opportunities. Sometimes they can come here looking for the same thing. Just as Airbus, the European airplane manufacturer, just announcing it's going to open a factory in Alabama. That's right, Alabama, a right-to-work state, the same appeal South Carolina had with Airbus rival Boeing. Now, we've got you covered on this remarkable story with the governor of Alabama and then the chairman of Airbus Americas. First, to the governor, Robert Bentley. Governor Bentley, congratulations. Good for you. Thank you very much. We're very excited. What was the draw you offered besides your own inimitable charm, no doubt? <laughs> Well, I'm not too sure my charm had anything to do with it, but uh, Mobile offers a lot that uh, other areas did not offer. Of course, the state of Alabama offers a lot. You know, we are a right-to-work state. Uh, I do believe that we have the best workforce training programs of any state in the country. The cost of doing business in Alabama is low. Taxes are low. The cost of energy is low. And, and Mobile offered some very unique uh, things that other places did not offer, and that has to do with the port of Mobile, uh, it has to do with uh, uh, the uh, Brooklyn Air Force Base that was closed down. It has a very long runway. And so they, we have a lot of things to offer in Mobile. Um, did, and we'll raise this with the Airbus executive in just a second, Governor. Did the fact that you were a right-to-work state have, have a, uh, anything to do with it? Oh, I think uh, being a right-to-work state is the number one reason that uh, many international companies look at Alabama and the other right-to-work states. Do you think that that's a message to more heavily unionized states or those, you know, I remember the whole Boeing dust up when they moved those thousand jobs to start a new plant in South Carolina, then it created this political uproar, then the National Labor Relations Board got involved in the middle of it, almost shut the thing down, later dropping it, the, those thousand workers are still there for Boeing in South Carolina. The, the, that was a defining moment. For example, had that case been lost by South Carolina, um, and by Boeing, uh, that, that you would not have been in the position you are now, or did it have anything to do with it? You know, I, I think that uh, Alabama has always been a right-to-work state, and uh, I think it's very important. Uh, it's, it's important for European companies, but it's also important, very important for Asian companies as we try to recruit uh, international companies to the state. And uh, Airbus never told you that this was tit for tat. Boeing did this a couple of states away from you. They're going to do this with you. Well, you know, uh, actually, we've had a very good relationship with Airbus for almost 10 years. Uh, and Airbus uh, lost the uh, contract on the uh, tankers. That's right. Uh, but we started an entirely, entirely new uh, uh, negotiations dealing with the uh, commercial airline, the, uh, the, the A320, which will be produced in Mobile, Alabama. Uh, this is a totally new uh, approach, and uh, this, this has nothing to do with the, uh, except the relationship, it has nothing to do with the uh, past contract. All right. Governor, thank you again. Congratulations again. Thank you very much. Now on the